This is a review for Athletic Greens, also known as AG1. What I've got on camera is the single subscription package, as well as the year's supply of vitamin D3 K2 you can receive using a promotional link. You can find this on the Athletic Greens website for right around $99 per month, although at time of recording I was able to make the purchase for only $79. I'll drop the link to their site in the description. Although I want to clarify, I am in no way sponsored by Athletic Greens. I am a totally average consumer of this product, just like anyone watching this video. Athletic Greens self-markets as the gold standard of health, claiming to contain all the essential vitamins and minerals necessary for human health, both prebiotics and probiotics, as well as adaptogens and antioxidants. There are many other claims on their website, but all the rest really just restate those key points. Okay, so should you buy? Well, first let's summarize. The single subscription package comes with a 30 serving pouch, a storage canister with a scoop, and a shaker bottle. There are also five travel packs, but they keep emphasizing that the travel packs are free, which makes me feel like it might be a temporary offer. You do have the option to purchase just the 30 serving pouch without the accessories and without the subscription, but it's equivalent in price and is actually more expensive due to the subscription discount at the time of recording. Since you do have the ability to cancel your subscription at any time, I would recommend purchasing the single subscription as you'll want all of the accessories. Finally, if you're shopping for two, the double subscription is a much better value. Okay, first of all, the only thing I know for sure is AG1 contains all your essential vitamins and minerals, as well as pre and probiotics. All of the other health-related claims on their site are not regulated by the FDA. For example, the claim that adaptogenic herbs help with energy and stress is exactly that, a claim not supported by the federal government. So do with that what you will. Second, I found it pleasantly surprising and also hilarious they published user review scores right on their site. They provide a self-reported user rating of 4.5 stars out of 5, sampled from a pool of 20,000 customers. I suppose this is 90%, but the fact that it's not 95 or 97 means there's a significant group of people with some degree of dissatisfaction. Personally, I've really enjoyed using AG1. It's simple to make, just a quick shake in the bottle, and it goes down as easily as water. One thing I'll say is it does contain stevia, or stevia, which is a plant-based sugar alternative commonly used in a wide variety of products. It gives the drink a mildly sweet taste, which could be a good or bad thing depending on you. I generally prefer things to be unsweetened, and historically I have not been a fan of the taste of stevia in particular. I would rather have a drink sweetened with cane sugar than stevia, but that's just solely on taste as I don't have any collection of dietary restrictions or health issues. So I was slightly disappointed to realize AG1 contains stevia, but the flavor is mild enough to not bother me. Other than sweet, I would say there is a mild earthy taste as well. I do enjoy drinking AG1 in my water and especially mixed into a smoothie. Okay, what about nutrients? AG1 isn't a good source of any macronutrients, but let me note a few things. One serving contains 50 calories and two grams of protein, which I think is modest. You also get six grams of carbohydrates, only two of which come from fiber. This means you receive four grams of net carbs. Do you hear that, keto folks? If you're on a strict keto diet, you may want to consider the additional net carbs you'll receive from AG1. As far as micronutrients, you get everything under the sun. The list is very long and most are overly sufficient in quantity, so I won't get too specific. You receive more than a daily serving of the following. Vitamins C, E, B1, B2, B6, B12, and B7, niacin, folate, and zinc. You receive less than 100% of the daily serving of the following. Vitamin A, pantothenic acid, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, selenium, copper, manganese, chromium, sodium, and potassium. Some of those are significant amounts and some of those are very small, so please consult the full nutritional details on the screen during this video. You receive 54 milligrams of dairy-free probiotics, but I think the more important number is the 7.2 billion colony forming unit, or CFU. It appears there are two species, which I will now attempt to pronounce. Lactobacillus acidophilus and Bifidobacterium bifidum. <laughs> I can't believe it, it sounds like Harry Potter.
Also, there are literally dozens of different plant extracts and compounds added to this product. I will go over none of these in any specific detail as their exact quantities are not provided. There are other reviews out there heralding both the pros and cons of Athletic Greens. One interesting point I hadn't considered until watching another review was that people aren't happy about the proprietary blend of plant extracts and compounds. Meaning, AG1 does not reveal the exact quantities of the quote, 75 high quality end quote, ingredients. Now I totally understand the concern, if you're someone looking for a more holistic approach to health incorporating herbs from across the globe with rich histories of use in a variety of cultures, you're probably interested in knowing how much you're taking. You want to measure your intake and quantify the effects. There is part of me that agrees, but I also have another perspective. Many, if not most, traditional or holistic herbs used as alternative medicines fall into the following three categories. Either not studied sufficiently, studied but produced dubious results, or extensively studied and not shown to produce any benefit. Some examples are ashwagandha and milk thistle to name a few. I'm not trying to say you shouldn't take these things, just that in my opinion the jury's still out on a lot of these compounds. Regardless, I'm personally not bothered by the proprietary blend of compounds because that's not even the reason I sought after this product. What sold me on Athletic Greens was that it not only served as a complete multivitamin, but also contained both pre and probiotics. I was looking for a way to get all my supplements at once and not have to be swallowing pills and sipping kombucha all throughout the day. I already drink a green type smoothie as my first meal of the day and just adding a scoop of athletic greens is a seamless change that doesn't add any inconvenience. Plus that way I don't have to make a separate drink just for ingesting AG1. Point being, as someone who's been on a bit of a health craze lately, this was sort of my dream product. But now, let's talk about the only, but unfortunately major, downside. AG1 is expensive. Even with the current $79 discount, it still came out to about $100 after tax and shipping. At 30 scoops, this is $3.33 per serving or per day. I've watched other reviews where people do comprehensive calculations on this versus typical supplement regimes, but it's not necessary. You can arrive at the same conclusion very quickly if you just account for the vitamins and pre and probiotics. I took about two minutes to look at the most popular, best value products on Amazon, and then did some quick maths on what you could be spending if you buy these directly and individually. I came up with per day values of five cents per multivitamin, seven cents per probiotic, and 33 cents per prebiotic. Altogether, that's 45 cents per day which makes AG1 over seven times more expensive. The other major caveat to this is that the bulk of that price, 33 cents, was used to purchase an isolated prebiotic product, to which I would say, it's probably not necessary to ingest a dedicated prebiotic supplement anyway. You can likely achieve healthy levels of prebiotics just by eating a fiber sufficient diet. Of course, this means monitoring and potentially changing your food choices, which is another conversation entirely, but you get my point. All of this is to say you can satisfy your multivitamin and probiotic needs for only 12 cents per day, which, wow, makes AG1 27 times more expensive than necessary. When I frame it this way, it sounds really bad, right? But I think that's fair because for many people, the $100 per month price point is a total deal breaker, and that deserves adequate attention. On the other hand, if you're someone who's willing to pay the price, or perhaps money's no object, I do think this is a great product. I find it extremely convenient, and at the very least, it's just as good as any other supplement regimen on the market. There is also the added bonus of the superfood and super herb cocktail that may provide any number of benefits. Also, one more negative is it contains natural flavors. Boo! I'm not a fan. I can't stand the ambiguous wording and lack of clarity for consumers on any product using natural flavors. The FDA has very vague standards for what natural flavors even are, so I don't like consuming products that use them. The only reason I'm willing to give AG1 a pass is because it offers so many upsides. All right. I think that's just about all there is to say about this product. I'm satisfied with my purchase and I would recommend it, although that is heavily based on your income threshold. I dropped the link below if you're interested, and again, I'm not sponsored by AG1. Please let me know if I can improve these videos in any way. Like and comment below with any questions, I'm more than happy to help, and I'm sure I missed something. If you'd like to support the channel, you should of course subscribe, but if you'd like to go above and beyond, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. I appreciate every one of you. 
Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. Tell me it's good, tell me it's gold, tell me you like breaking the mold. Tell me it's good, tell me it's gold, tell me you like breaking the mold. Drawing on a canvas, making us an atlas. If you want to tap in, we can find Atlantis. I've been on my real shit, trying to find my realness. I've been out my feet.